sisters be screwing married men and saying that it's his wife's fault that her husband is out here with them and doing things with them, doing things for them. It's his wife's fault. Well, sister to sister, you don't care about another sister's home. You don't care about another sister's feelings. And obviously, you so selfish that you don't think about karma. You don't think about her children. You don't think about the sacrifices she has made in order for that man to even propose to her and go as far as making her his queen. You don't think about, you, you have, you've never walked a mile in her shoes to be able to earn the position she has in that man's life right now. You're selfish. You're evil. It's not her fault. And even if there's a problem in a woman's home and things are not going well with her husband, it's none of your business to step in the picture and taking off your underwear to be a, a solution to that marital home problems. You dropping your underwear is a, is a solution to somebody else's marital home problems. Let their problem be their problem. Okay. You are the reason, matter of fact, you are the reason why that man is running away from his problems. You are the reason why he don't, he don't, he, he don't take the time to say, oh, I need to fix this. I need to put my home back together for the sake of my children, for the sake of the vows that I took. I knew when I took those vows that it was for better or for worse. You know the words that, that you know the vows that married couples make at the altar for better or for worse. So it's very naive and stupid of you to think that when there's a problem in somebody's relationship, it's the woman's, it's the woman's fault. And so it's okay for you to be in the picture doing what you do with her husband, but you forget that it's for better or for worse. They are going through a phase where things are not so okay. Which is the worst part of their vibe, which is the worst that they settle for, the worst that they promise each other no matter what, we're going to pull through it. But here you are, acting like it's the woman's fault. When they got married and took the vows, it wasn't for a perfect marriage. They knew, that's why the, the vows say, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer. So whatever problem may be going on in somebody's marital home, you are not the solution. You should be praying for that sister. You should be counseling that brother who came to you seeking attention. You should be telling him, reminding him of his vows and stuff. You shouldn't be over there dropping your drawers and, and finding poor, sick excuse that her husband is out there with you because she's not doing what she's supposed to do. Shame on women, on sisters who do that. It's just a poor. It's just an. Uh, it's just a poor excuse for you to be doing what you're doing. It's just a poor excuse for you to be continuously be a home wrecker. It's just a poor excuse for you to for you to rejoice in another sister's despair. A poor, selfish excuse. They didn't marry for everything to be butter. There will come problems. Problems will come. That's why it says for better or for worse. So take yourself out of the picture let, and stop being the reason why that man is running away from his problems. Stop being the reason why his children are suffering. Stop being the reason why his wife will continue to suffer. Stop being the reason why he's not really going to commit to finding solution for the problems he's facing in his marital home. Okay? You are an accomplice to this situation that's going on in that sister's marriage. You are a you you are not part of the solution. You are part of the problem. You are part of the problem. Get yourself out of the picture. Get your freaking self out of the picture. They are married for better or for worse. And the wor and when the worst come, you pray for them. 
When the worst come, you leave that man alone. You leave them alone. You being part of the problem is the reason why that man's home continue to be dysfunctional. I don't know if you can sit there within your own conscience and frankly say that you are not part of the problem. You are. You're part of the reason why his home, his home is going to continuously be dysfunctional. And all these dysfunctional homes and relationships is the reason why we have dysfunctional people in society and stuff. Because of selfish people who step into a picture where they don't belong. And they ruin the picture some more. You're like an intruder, my dear. You're like an intruder. You're not supposed to be part of that picture. This wasn't a polygamous marriage where you also took a vow. Did you take a vow? No. Stop being part of the problems in other sisters' love life, marital life, and home. Stop being part of your freaking termite. Your freaking termite. Get yourself out of other people's marriages. I don't care how bad it is. Let, let them deal with it. If it's not going to work, let it just be between them. Don't be the reason why it doesn't ever work.